Okay, we are continuing the memory series with this, my Hewlett Packard calculator from 1994. Here it is, the 48G with 32K of RAM. Look at all those functions. This was 1994. I got this as a freshman going into GMI Engineering and Management Institute. It's even got my name scratched in the back because that was a, that's how it was meant to be done. Uh, took three AAA batteries. I'm sure this thing still works. There's no reason to fire it up. This thing used reverse Polish notation, so it was practically impossible to use. Had every scientific function known to man, a graphing calculator. It was programmable. You could learn the language for it and actually write software that ran on this. And I'm going to try to get in some close shots here. This was the most amazing calculator at the time. Uh, we spent so much on it. It was probably the equivalent of about $500 today. We didn't have computers when I entered college. I mean, obviously computers existed, but people didn't have a computer going into uh, college in 94. By about 96, you pretty much always did. But in 94, it was still really uncommon to have a computer. And this is what we had instead, because you had to do lots of advanced math. This is what you do, calculus, statistics, all that kind of stuff. All your physics classes, uh, material science, those kinds of things were always done on here. This one had a port where you could plug it in um, and use it as a controller for things. So it was a lot like a Raspberry Pi is today. Plus it had infrared capability up here at the top. I hope you can see. Uh, so you could use it as a remote for things. Um, you could load software into this. You could copy software from one of these to another. Like if you had two of them and pointed them at each other. Everyone in my classes was required to have this particular model. So we had lots of them and a lot of people did share things between them. Uh, you could play simple video games on them. Uh, it was a lot like the a high-end version of the pocket computers that had come out in the early 80s, of which I also have one in my collection collection. So I wanted to show this because no one will understand why I have this really, really weird calculator from this era. But that's what I had when I went to school, and I've had no use for it ever since.